Hi, this is Dr. Fast here, and in this video, I will talk about relays. And if you've been following my channel, I've done some videos on installing car alarms, car stereos, HID installs, and in those videos, I talk about using relays. And for those of you who are not familiar with it, this video will help explain how a relay works, how to choose the relay that you want to use for your application. So in front of me, these four little devices you see are all relays. As you can see, they come in different shape, size, color, packaging. Relays are essentially switches that you can turn on and turn off by applying electricity to a coil inside the relay. When you energize that coil, it will create a magnetic field. It will attract that metal contact to mechanically close that switch. When you take away the power source to the coil, the magnetic field is gone and then the switch will open up again. When you're looking for a relay, there are a couple of things you need to pay attention to. One is the voltage that's required to energize that coil. So for example, this little one right here, if you look closely, it tells you that this is a 5 volt relay. It means that it requires 5 volt DC to energize the coil inside to close and open the switch. Here, this is actually an AC relay. Right here, it lists 120 volt AC. So you need to apply 120 volt AC to the coil for the relay to energize. These two on the right are commonly used in automotive installs. These are 12 volt relays and the coil inside this relay requires 12 volt to energize and they'll open and close the switch. In fact, if you look at the top here, it tells you right here, this is a 12 volt DC relay. The next thing you want to pay attention to is the rating of the switch. So inside the relay, there are contacts that open and close, and it can handle only a certain amount of current and voltage. So for example, if you look at this little one here, the print is kind of small, but it tells you the contacts inside is rated for 5 amp at 250 volt AC. Below that is 5 amp at 30 volt DC. So those are the rating for the contacts inside the relay. Here, this is the 120 volt AC relay and it's printed at the bottom here. It tells you that it can handle 10 amp, 240 volt AC, and 28 volt DC. These automotive ones are typically rated at 30 amp or 40 amp. So here let's talk about this automotive relay I have here. This is what they call a single pole double throw relay. And let me go over the pinouts on this. On the bottom side of this relay, this contact here at the bottom and this contact here at the top are used to energize this relay. So when you apply 12 volt to these two terminals, the relay will switch on or switch off. Horizontally, these three pins right here these are the actual contacts for your switch. And the way you read this is this one over here is your common, the one in the middle is normally closed, and the one over here is normally open. So let me draw it out so it'll make more sense to you. For this relay, we have a coil. Inside the relay on the switch side, This is what we have for contacts. So this is your common. This is your normally closed. This is your normally open. And the coil is pin 85 and pin 86. The common is pin 30. Normally closed is 87A. And normally open is 87. And if you look at the bottom here, there are markings at the bottom where the pins are. When you don't apply any power to the coil and the relay is not energized, this contact between 30 and 87A is closed. 
Once you energize this coil, the contact inside will switch to this contact. So what they mean by normally open is that when you apply no power to the coil here, this contact is open, it's not closed. And same as here, this normally closed, meaning that when there's no power applied to it, this switch over here is closed. Of course, if you energize a coil, this switches, the normally open side will now be closed, and the normally closed side will now be open. This is also what they call a single pull, double throw. Because there is one contact that moves between these two over here, so single pull, there's one pull between these two contacts, it's double throw because there are two points over here. So single pull, double throw. Here I have two other relays that are single pull, double throw. If you look at the top marking on these relays, the one on the left, made by Bosch, has a marking of 20 slash 30A or 30 amp. The one on the right has a marking of 30 slash 40 amp. What these two number mean is that because this is a single pull double throw relay, the side that is normally closed or the contacts as closed is rated for the 20 amp. When the relay switches over to the normally open contact, that contact is rated for 30 amp for the Bosch one and 40 amp for the one on the right. That's why you see two ratings. So the maximum current rated for the normally open side compared to the normally closed side are different. Here is the 5 volt relay. This one is a very simple relay and this is what they call a single pull, single throw. And the way it works is there's a coil inside and inside there's a switch. And that's all this relay is. So what happens is that when you energize this coil, the switch closes. Now there is no contact out of here. There are only two contacts that's provided on this relay. That's why you see four leads on here. Two of them are for the coil side and two of them are for the switch side. So two of the contacts are for these two points right here. And it is normally open. So when you energize this coil, the switch closes and there's contact made between these two points. Now let's talk about this 120 volt AC double pull double throw relay. What's inside is a coil just like you saw earlier in the other relays. However, inside this relay we have two sets of contacts. So this is my common, this side is my normally closed, this side is normally open, this is normally closed, this is normally open. So with this, how it works is that when you energize this with 120 volt AC, these two contacts will switch from one side to the other and they'll switch at the same time. So go from normally closed to the normally open side and same for this side. So that's why they call this the double pull, double throw. Because we have two pulls here for the contacts and the double throw, the double represents the normally closed and normally open of each side. So these are your throws. Now keep in mind these two are separate switches. They're not connected in any way. The only thing that's connected is the fact that when this coil energizes, it will switch both of these poles at the same time. But physically, inside the relay, these two sets of contacts are totally separate. Before ending the video, I want to show you a demonstration of how the relay actually works. Now, this is a perfect example because this relay happened to have a transparent enclosure, whereas this one is enclosed and you can't see what's going on inside. If I was to apply 12 volt to the coil side, you hear a click and that's it, you wouldn't know what's happening inside. So let me show you this one 
and I'm going to apply 120 volt AC to the coal side and then you can see the mechanical switch that gets switched inside. As you can see this terminal here and the one below that I've soldered and heat shrink. This is going to be the 120 volt AC that will energize the coil inside. This area is the coil. Over here you see three contacts here. These are the switch side of the relay. So this one over here that I'm pointing to, this contact goes to this black wire, connects up here to this metal conductor, it comes down and it'll switch between this conductor and the other one right here. So these two pins inside is connected to these two pins on the far right. So again, this is going to be my common, goes up on this wire, come back down and it will switch to either this output or this output. And what you want to watch when I energize this relay is right here, inside here, you'll see this metal conductor will click and switch between these two. So here I'm going to turn it on, one, two, three. I'm going to turn it off. I'll do it again, one, two, three. Turn it off. If I flip this over, you'll see the contacts are totally separate between the left side and the right side. This is called the double pull, double throw. Let me energize this side so you can see it also. I hope you found this video helpful and if you're looking for a relay, now if you read something that says, you know, SPST, DPDT, DPST, you know what it means now. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And if you like the video, don't forget to click on the like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.